excuse me, excuse me, sorry, <laughs> I'm just thinking of a office space, I usually do one after a day of work, uh, or at work, uh, anyway, uh, coming at you, I'm going to try to keep this real short and brief, uh, to show that I can be in fact impartial, flexible, all that crap, contrary to popular belief, uh, if you've actually, if you're one of the, like, three people that watches my videos, you know, a fan of Trump I am not, actually a fan of, well, the political establishment in general I am not, and it's slowly bleeding over into a lack of fan of government in general, but I'm not quite that far yet. Uh, I've noticed there's been some talks of the former GOP presidential candidates refusing to endorse Trump after they stood up on a stage and pledged that they would support the GOP nominee no matter who he was. Okay, so you're going to give your stand-up in front of God and country, quite literally, because it's nationally live televised, uh, you know, and say, oh, I'll tr support him no matter what, no matter who, and then you don't support him because, well, I don't think he's a real conservative. Well, a lot of people don't. But you know what they like about him? He's not part of the political establishment. People are sick and tired of the status quo. And part of that is people not going by their word. And yeah, I've noticed he kind of flip-flops a bit. But you know what? I haven't seen... Uh, you know, if he says, I don't like you, he don't like you. And, yeah, if you're going to stand up there and say, oh, I'll support him no matter what, and then you don't do it, you're a lying pile of crap, that, and you're part of the thing that people hate. True story. Uh, and while we're on the discussion, uh, I think Paul of Ryan's been kind of doing a little bit of a stink. Not ready to support Trump because uh, he's just not there yet. He don't whatever. Okay, I can respect that because you didn't. he didn't stand up there and say he would support him no matter what. But some of the things Paul of Ryan has been coming out in favor of or some of the things America is getting pissed off about and flat out saying no. Okay, you don't agree with Trump on things. Fine. That's perfectly acceptable. No word does it say you have to agree with him. However, if you're going to stand up and say, I don't agree with him because whatever, and then the people are standing up and saying, yeah, well, we don't agree... We're starting to really not agree with what you stand for. Maybe that's the time you need to start changing what you kind of stand for. You know, if your opinion is we need to be the big time military police force of the world, I got news for you. People are getting tired of it. People are tired of eating the cost because that's what happens governments disagree, guess who gets you know, they go to war, guess who gets to pay for it? The people. Guess who gets to the discomfort when the bombs start falling? The people. You know, the people who are affected the least by it seems to be the government, and they're the ones that seem to be all too happy to do it. maybe the time has come the GOP needs to pull their head out of their butt before the people decide that the GOP is no longer relevant and it's not just the GOP 
they're starting to get that feeling with the Democrats. And I, like I've been saying, we'll see, definitely see it if Hillary beats out Bernie. If old Bernie goes down, it's going to split the party and it's going to be, you know, like 2008 was for the Republicans. You can bank on it. And the way things have been set up and running, that's the way it's going to be, wind up being. It's Hillary versus Trump with the two main contenders with an, I'm guaranteeing an appearance most likely from Gary Johnson. Bank on it. Uh, this election will determine how much longer the Republican Party is going to be viable. Bank on it. If the Republican Party is going to keep pushing the status quo the way they have been, you know, getting up there, getting all excited over the name of Reagan, when, and then saying, oh, Trump's not a real Republican because he used to be a Democrat, when Reagan most famously said he was a uh, New Deal Democrat and that he didn't leave the Democrat Party, the Democrat Party left him. That's hypocrisy. People are tired of it. Especially of the big political leaders. If they want to push it, this can wind up being the last big election the GOP is a, the primary contender. If they really want to be this way about it. And we're going to start seeing this in the Democrats. There's going to be a split. There's already signs of a split. Because the political establishments in both parties want to ignore the base. You know, they stick their fingers in their ears, ignore the base, ignore this, ignore that, do whatever. And people are getting tired of it. Oh well. That's just my take on it, you know. If you're going to give your word, keep it. You know, the word, someone's word and a handshake used to mean something in this country. So that needs to be taken care of. We need to address that as a people. We need to hold people accountable to their word. You know, if they give their word, we need to hold them accountable for it. Let's work on getting some morals in this country. You know, if someone does wrong, punish them. If someone needs help, help them. If someone takes advantage of help, throw them to the wolves. Because there are people like that. There are people who will lie, deceive, and everything else to get ahead. Those people, I have no problem saying, hey, you're on your own. There's a difference between helping people and enabling and it, the same mentality goes with the immigration issues. I have no problem if you're willing to go through the appropriate steps to come to this country through the you know appropriate legal means. Fine. If you're going to violate you know all the immigration laws coming here, I've got an issue with that. If you're going to come to this country and demand we change our you know our system our culture our beliefs everything else to accommodate you no if you're going to come to a country you need to understand that you're going to have to adapt to that new country your new surroundings and that's plain and simple don't like it if you don't like that don't move there. Stay, you know, if things are so great that you want wherever it is you move to, to assimilate, assimilate and be like your culture, the culture you came from, maybe you should have stayed wherever the heck it is you came from. Plain and simple. 
Anyway, that's my two cents on it all. No one asked, but I told you anyway. Uh, this has already gotten longer than I really planned on it being, but oh well. Uh, just my opinions. Like it, lump it, accept it. I don't really care, you know. If you like it, feel free to share it. Don't claim it as your own. Uh, but yeah. Later.